Hello, I am English Floyd, a clinical dietitian at the Medical University of South Carolina. Today we will be discussing the variety of tubes that can be placed in order to provide tube feeding. In regular eating, food enters the mouth, goes through the esophagus, and into the stomach. From the stomach it enters the small intestines. There are three different parts to the small intestines. The first part is called the duodenum, also called the duodenum. The second part is the jejunum. And the third part is the ileum. From this area of the small intestines, the food enters the large intestines and then is excreted from your body. There are several types of tubes that can be placed directly into your stomach. The first tube is a nasogastric tube. This tube is placed into your nose and directly into your stomach to provide tube feeding formula. Another tube is an oral gastric tube, often called an OG tube. These tubes are placed directly into your mouth and then down into your stomach. A more permanent access into your stomach is called a PEG tube or a G tube. These tubes are placed directly through the abdominal wall into the stomach. These tubes must be placed by a physician. They are often done in an endoscopy suite or in the operating room. These tubes can provide a long-term access for patients who are unable to eat and require tube feeding. There are also tubes that can be placed directly into the small intestines, into the second part of the small intestines called the jejunum. The first tube is a nasojejunal tube, often called an NJ tube. This tube goes into your nose, directly through your esophagus, your stomach, and into your small intestines. The second tube that goes into the jejunum is directly put there by a physician. It is called a J tube. It is also placed in an endoscopy suite or in the operating room. All of these tubes are placed to provide access for patients who are unable to eat and require tube feeding. If you have any questions, please contact your healthcare professional for further information about tube feeding access. Thank you.